Good afternoon and welcome to our live coverage of Starliner's return home. I'm Lauren Seabrook with Boeing. And I'm Brandy Dean with NASA. And Brandy and I are coming to you live from here in Mission Control in Houston. And the team here on the ground reporting that uh, the orbital maneuvering and attitude control thrusters are firing, slowing Starliner down as the capsule begin its journey back to Earth. Confirmed engine cutoff here on the ground. Flight controllers here in the room are reporting a good deorbit burn. Starliner is on its way home. And we have service module separation. During disposal, that service module will re-enter over the Pacific Ocean while the crew capsule continues on its path to New Mexico where our Boeing and NASA teams are waiting to recover it. Starliner is now angling itself and its heat shield for re-entry. And there are our very first shots of Starliner from the WD-57. And the forward heat shield has now jettisoned. That heat shield protected the spacecraft through those thermal loads during re-entry. And drugs are out. View here from the ground tracker. And mains are now out. We see three parachutes coming out here. Starliner has another 8,000 feet toward the landing. Those three parachutes are starting to inflate now. You can see them right there on your screen. And the main parachute's reefing open right there, continuously slowing Starliner down. Three good main parachutes, looking good. Starliner will be uh, drifting down for another two and a half or so minutes before it makes its touchdown, but all going smoothly. And we didn't just hear the rotation handle was released. That will uh, help level out the capsule before a touchdown. And there goes the base heat shield right there in front of you. It just jettisoned. You can see it falling away from the spacecraft. It will reveal the airbags that will cushion Starliner's landing. Just and seconds you can left. see the mountains coming into frame there. We're getting very close to the ground. And touchdown Starliner. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico, marking the completion of orbital flight test two. And that touchdown coming at 5.49 p.m. Central Time, almost exactly six days into the mission. Just a beautiful touchdown in White Sands this evening. Our landing recovery teams will now wait for clearance before making their way to the vehicle. And here's a piece of information that I know a lot of people on our team will be really happy to hear. Uh, we are told that Starliner landed about three-tenths of a mile southeast of the landing site, which is basically a bullseye.